What is up, YouTube? This is Sneaks coming at y'all with another video. Why I look so sleepy? <laughs> I got my mom right here. Booyah! And we're gonna be reacting to this video called um, I'm Not Racist. Well, I already seen the video, but she hasn't. But um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so y'all can go check the video out. But it's her first time seeing it. So, one, two, three. You know my mouth ain't got no filter. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Just, just watch it. Screaming yeah. Black Lives Matter, all the black guys rather be dead beats to pay your bills. Yelling nigga this and nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react and want to swing at me and call me racist because I ain't black. You pound that then. Talking about slavery like you was around back then. Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like you was on the plantation getting down back then. I, uh, I see a black man aiming his gun, but I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. And I don't mean just for one day and you done. I mean, you still trapped in a rut. I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still trying to sell them for some weed and some liquor or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road because you ain't got no fucking goals? You already late. You motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight. Wait. It's like you're proud to be fake, but you lazy as fuck. And you'd rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight. Say what you look like, and you play about the poverty rate. Fuck out of my face. No, because it's a video. <laughs> I don't want to put nobody daddy on front street. <laughs> Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. You fucked the world with a make America great condo. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister in law's baby cousin Tracy. Got a brother and his girlfriend's black. My head's in the cloud. Heard it's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lie, but I think it's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride your pocket dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my god! And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet, and that's the nigga within you. Use it right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you let your kids listen, and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu, blame it on those drinks, blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges, blame it on white kids, and just blame it on white citizens. Aim it the vice president. Bunch of class clowns, niggas kneeling on the field, that's a flag down. How dare you try to make demands for this money? You gon' show us some respect, you gon' stand for this country, nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm not racist. Just wait. I'm prepared for this type of war. I heard them and them's rap with the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white no more. It's like you're talking about anything. I don't know. Anything for attention and a little payment. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers. Pants hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put your fucking pants off, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that do rag off. Take that gold out your mouth. Quit the bit of your stuff. And then maybe police and stop killing you. Fuck you. What the fuck? I'm not racist. It's like we're living in the same building but splitting the two floors. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story. I wish that I knew yours. Hmm. <laughs> I wish that I knew yours. I'm not racist. I swear. With all disrespect, I don't really like you, white motherfuckers. That's just where I'm at. Screaming, all lives matter is a protest to my protest. What kind of shit is that? And that's one war you'll never win. The power in the word nigga is a different sin. We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just because you got nigga friends. Nigga. That word was originated for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. And when you use it, we know there's a double meaning under. And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not affected by the history. My grandmama was a slave. That shit gets to me, and you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga. I'm sorry, you can never fail my life. Trying to have faith, but I never feel all right. It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites, judging me by my skin color and my blackness. Trying to find a job, and ain't nobody call me back yet. Now I gotta sell drugs and put food in my cabinet. You crackers ain't slick, this is all a part of your tactics. Don't talk about no motherfucking taxes when I ain't making no dough. You think you know everything, but you don't. You wanna copy our slang and everything that we know. Trying to steal black culture and make it your own. Whoa. Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. All you do is fall shit. This is shit that I'm false with. And you don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. 
You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool-Aid. You don't know. And even though Barack was half as black, you hated President Obama. I know that's a fact. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back. And then you gave us Donald Trump, and I was paid back for that. I'm not racist. I never mm. lied, but I noticed the disconnect between your culture and mine. Yeah, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god. He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died, nigga. Die, nigga. And all you care about is money and power and being ugly and nothing cracking within you. Hate you all in your brain as long as you fucking convention and you teach it to your children and just the cycle continue. Blame it on Puerto Rico. Blame it on OJ. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on black niggas and blame it on black citizens. Save it to black businesses. I ain't saying I'm innocent, but... Might be any day now. Treating everybody how you want in any way how. I swear no career about the bombers any day now. And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking play now. You know I make a lot of sense, but you just can't admit it. Whenever them went against Trump, that was an illness. Cause even though he's white, he let us know he's standing with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops. And I know if you about to die or not. Worry about your life, so you take mine. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. I wish we could trade shoes, so we could change lives, so we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. I'm not racist. It's like we living in the same building, but sitting on both sides. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine. Deep. That's all deep. Big Daddy. <laughs> I'm not racist. <laughs> All right, so now you gotta tell them how you feel. Well, how you felt about the video. I mean, from the beginning of the video, I already kind of figured it was a plot to the story. The white, the the white guy. I don't want to say the white man, but whatever he is, <laughs> he's basically trying to tell his side of the story. What he think, how we act as black people, and then the black guy is basically trying to tell his side of the story of basically how he feel as being a black man. So it's like, kind of like a. It's like put yourself in my shoes, I put myself in your shoes type situation. Alright, so did you like the video? Yeah, the video was good. Did you like the idea of it? Yeah, whose idea was it? It was yours? No, this is Joyner Lucas. Oh. If y'all seen it here first, if you like the video, go ahead, leave a like, comment, comment subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> and click that bell um, so y'all know when I upload new videos. But um, other than that, Steve Sneak signing out and. We'll see you on the next video.